How long does it actually take to become a freelance website designer? How long does it take to actually learn the skill of website design? How long until you can start landing clients? And then eventually, how long does it take until you can finally leave your nine to five, say adios to your coworkers and your boss, and make this your full-time gig? That is exactly what I'm gonna talk about in this video. Let's start with the most important thing for you to know right now if you want to become a website designer. That is learning how to build websites. So how long does that typically take? Let me explain. The first thing that you need to know is that different softwares typically take different amounts of time to learn. The hardest are probably WordPress and Webflow. Medium difficulty, I'd say, are probably something like ShowIt or Shopify. And then the easier to learn systems are probably Squarespace and Wix. Those are the primary ones in the industry right now. Expect the hardest ones to take a lot longer to learn than the easier ones. Now, the other thing affecting your learning speed is going to be if you take a course or a bootcamp versus binging a bunch of YouTube videos, reading a bunch of forums and slash or just learning by trial and error inside the software itself. Now, I actually learned Squarespace years ago and I'd say that it took me a good like three weeks to wrap my head around how exactly the software was working and to get all the features and the settings figured out. Now, I still had a very basic understanding of software at that point. It took me a lot longer to learn things like the SEO aspect of website design. And honestly, months upon months, probably even closer to a full year until I fully got the whole like web design strategy part. I was able to make really fantastic high-end looking design. Now I actually have a course on this topic. So my students tend to learn what it took me a good year to learn in like 12 hours of video lessons. They can go with that at whatever speed they want to. Some people binge it in a weekend. Some people spread it over a few weeks. I would add all also, even if you're taking a course, like a couple weeks just for practice and then building your own website and then a couple of portfolio pieces in order for you to get started. That is, if you take a course or not take a course, you're going to need to go through those steps in order for you to feel ready to actually begin offering website services. I'd say if you're going it alone, expect a few months to get the basic skills and you'd be able to charge for cheaper projects, a few hundred dollars for a website with projects that you get through something like Upwork. If you take something like a course or a bootcamp, I'd say like a month tops, you'd be good to go to begin charging like $1,500, $2,000, $2,500 website from the beginning because you have the understanding of web design strategy and you've developed the design eye to make really unbelievable websites and then you have the SEO knowledge as well to back up those prices. So how long does it take web designers on average to land their first client? This one, I actually have specific stats for you, not just like my theories, because I actually did a survey of over 700 website designers and I asked them exactly this. So let me share the results with you. The good news is website design is a super in-demand service. So 61% of those people that we surveyed actually got their first client before they even officially launched their website business. 10% of the people we surveyed landed their first client in one to two weeks, 7% in three to four weeks, 8% in one to two months, and 6% in three to four months, and then 5% of them took four months or longer to land their first client. Now, if you want the full results of that study, there is some seriously interesting information in there. You can go to pagebrenton.com forward slash study. It'll give you a fairly accurate picture of how long it takes people typically who are getting into the industry who don't have past experience to go ahead and land that first client. So the next thing you're probably wondering is, OK, well, how long does it take to get like a string of clients and multiple clients one after the next? If you already offer services like copywriting or branding and therefore you already have your head wrapped around the whole like how to find clients thing, then you can honestly start getting ready to offer web design services and land projects literally today. Add it on as an option to your existing packages. Continue with whatever marketing strategy you're doing that already works and then you can go ahead and very easily, literally from today, start booking web design projects. If you've never found clients before, like me, when I got started, it admittedly took me months until I even figured out which marketing strategy fit me and which I actually like to do and therefore actually stuck to. If you don't want to spend months figuring out that like I did, I actually created a quiz called which client finding method matches your personality type. It will tell you in literally a grand total of 60 seconds which marketing strategy is going to fit you that you could find clients with. If you want that, you can grab it at pbcourses.com forward slash quiz. OK, so once you've picked your marketing strategy from the quiz, the resulting strategy also greatly affects how long it's going to take you to start landing a string of clients. So something like blogging or YouTubing or podcasting, it's a long game. Expect it to take a good couple of months before you actually start getting clients to come through those marketing efforts. Now, there are much faster marketing options, things like in-person networking, pitching yourself by email or DMs or getting active in Facebook groups. You could speak, you could guest on other people's podcasts, get in 
spread of existing like sources of traffic that are already there. Or you could do things that, like go on freelancer websites, though I do have to say the pay is kind of terrible on freelancer websites, so not fantastic. Okay, if you want to start. These options, which I mentioned, they could land you clients in literally just a matter of weeks. So again, it's not purely just about how good you are at marketing. Some strategies just naturally take longer than others. So you can take your pick between a client landing strategy that's going to get you clients now versus one that's going to get you clients later down the line, but also keep the gravy train of clients coming in the long term, which just takes a bit more time to get started at the very beginning. Some other people choose to learn the skills of web design and then work for an agency or another designer. They don't actually need to do any marketing at all, and they just get to create websites, which is what they really enjoy. And that is totally another option for you. A few of my past students realized marketing was just not for them and they weren't into it. So they met other booked out designers in our community and then they became designers on their teams or for their agencies instead. So do know that if marketing yourself and selling your services just completely has you like awake at night or like in a hot spot, there's other options for you too. And the final thing which you're probably wondering right now is how long does it typically take so you can get enough clients to quit your nine to five job and start living your work from home dream? Fabulous question. Again, it kind of depends for this one, but I'll give you my like best estimation for you. I want to start with what my timeline looked like to give you a rough idea. Then I'll also talk about some other people who I've seen. I started designing websites as a side hustle in university. I wasn't even intending to go full-time. Like I literally had a full-time degree, which I was working on. That wasn't so much a thing in my mind. So I did website design as a side hustle for a good year during my second year of my master's degree. Then right after I graduated, I moved to Germany and I went to some language school, wandered around Europe a little bit, kind of again was like just kind of doing website design on the side. I was getting projects from like Etsy and from a web design agency. But I did realize until I figure out my own marketing strategy, this is not really going to make fantastic money if I keep depending on things like Etsy or like freelancer websites or agencies. So it took me a good like six months of being in Europe until I was like, I'm going to get serious, make this my full time job. I'm going to actually implement a marketing strategy. I chose blogging, but you don't need to choose blogging. And so then it took me a few months from the time I started blogging. Again, this is not a fast strategy. <laughs> it was a few months until the website like it started getting traffic. I started seeing inquiries and then eventually started booking myself. It took me six months from the time I started blogging until I got a client through the blog. And literally after that, like they just kept coming. And how it worked was basically like I created useful content on my topics, Squarespace tutorials, that sort of thing. And then I would mention like you can hire me if you don't want to do it yourself and then people started inquiring through the website. And the more traffic the website got, the more people were coming to the blog, the more people were going to my services page and then getting in touch with me. And so again, that was a strategy which it took a while to get started. There are way faster strategies than that if that's what you want. But for me, I was playing the long game and so I went with blogging. It also just fit what I enjoyed doing. Like I could write out a blog post, it brings me joy. So it was perfect for me. I also didn't have the options of like in-person networking, like maybe other people do. Cause again, I was abroad and didn't speak the language. So that was that. I've seen people do this in literally as little as like a month or two months until they fully book themselves in their business. But honestly, if we're being realistic here, I think like six months is more of an average of say like my past students. Without guidance, it definitely takes a little bit longer, more like a year. I think it's a fairly realistic timeline of side hustling until you get it ready to the point where like it's actually replacing your nine to five income and therefore can leave that job. One of my past students, Kenzie, she actually booked herself four months in literally her just her first few weeks. She had finished school and decided she just didn't want to go get a normal job. And she just went like gung ho on the web design business and all in on her dreams. And so she did it really quickly. In a couple of weeks, she had booked herself months in advance. So that's pretty fantastic. I also had another student, Charlotte. She got clients right away. She was in this Facebook group. And so upon literally launching her web design business and stating in this Facebook group, like I'm a website designer now, you can hire me. And then booked out for a year in advance within six months. I will link her story. We had a whole video with her. So I'm going to link it below in case you want to read or watch all about that. That is all for this video. I hope that was helpful on giving you a rough idea of timeline on these things. If you have any more questions about this, feel free to put them down below. I will check down there and see if there's anything else I can answer for you. I'm happy to help. But otherwise, I will see you again in the next video. Thank mm -hmm. you.